This is Los Angeles, California. Serving a population of 18.7 million people, a network of commuter rail lines runs across this U.S. city, serving 62 stations across six counties. Consisting of seven lines and 534 miles of track, the system connects various cities across Los Angeles, with trains radiating from downtown to the suburbs. But how did the system grow from its original stations to the network it is today? My name's Zach, and this is the evolution of the network. Commuter rail service in Los Angeles began in October 1982, with the launch of a train between Los Angeles and Oxnard. Named Caltrain, the route traveled west from Union Station, servicing three intermediate stops en route. In December, an infill station was opened on the line at Chatsworth. Further infill stations were opened on the line in 1983, with Moore Park opening in January and a stop at Burbank Airport opening in February. However, Caltrain service was short-lived, with all trains on the route being suspended in March of that year. Commuter rail service restarted nine years later in October 1992, with three routes radiating out of LA's Union Station. The Ventura County line followed the former Caltrain route to Moore Park, including a new stop at Burbank. The Santa Clarita line followed the Ventura County line to Burbank before branching off north to Santa Clarita, while the San Bernardino line traveled east from Union Station to Pomona. In December, a one-stop extension of the San Bernardino line opened, with trains now ending at Claremont. The following February, an additional one-stop extension took the line to Montclair, followed in May by a three-stop extension to the line's namesake of San Bernardino. That same month, an infill station opened on the western section of the line at Baldwin Park. A fourth commuter rail line began in June of that year, making three intermediate stops en route to Riverside. In November, a further infill station opened near the end of the San Bernardino line, with trains beginning to Fontana. An earthquake in January 1994 destroyed various freeways in the Los Angeles area, forcing new commuter rail lines to be constructed. The Santa Clarita line was extended to Lancaster that month, being renamed to the Antelope Valley line at the same time. An infill station was opened on the line at Silmar San Fernando, helping to relieve traffic pressures caused by the earthquake. In February, further infill stations opened at Vincent Gray at Acton, followed later that month by Princesa. On the Ventura County line, a one-stop extension to Camarillo opened that same day, as well as an infill station at Northridge. In March, Metrolink took over service from Amtrak of their Orange County commuter, with trains running south from Union Station to Oceanside. On the Ventura County line, a further one-stop extension was opened in April, taking the line from Camarillo to Oxnard. Later that year, two infill stations were opened on the San Bernardino line, with Cal State LA opening in October and Rancho Cucamonga opening in November. A new station was added to the Orange County line in March 1995, with a stop opening in San Clemente. The following month, the Ventura County line saw service to Burbank Airport resume, after the platform was lengthened to accommodate longer Metrolink trains. An additional station opened on the Orange County line in July, with trains stopping at Norwalk Santa Fe Springs. In October, LA's 6th commuter rail line began service, being the first and only route not to service Union Station. Starting from the end of the Riverside line, the route serviced two new stations to Orange, before following the Orange County line south to San Juan Capistrano. The following March, the line was extended further west, meeting the San Bernardino line at San Bernardino. A further infill station opened on the line in August, with trains now stopping at Anaheim Canyon. A new station opened on the Riverside line in August 1997, with trains now stopping at Montebello Commerce. Three years later, in March 2000, an infill station was also opened on the Antelope Valley line, with trains beginning to Newhall. Further infill stations were added to the network in 2001, with the Riverside line stopping at Pomona in February and the Antelope Valley line stopping in Sun Valley in April. On the Inland Empire and Orange County lines, two infill stations opened in 2002, with trains stopping at Tustin in January, followed shortly afterwards by Laguna Niguel Mission Viejo in April. In May, a seventh commuter rail line was launched, with trains beginning on the 91 line. The route included no new stations, with trains stopping at existing stations on the Orange County and the Inland Empire Orange County lines to Riverside. At the same time, trains on the Inland Empire Orange County line were extended south, following the Orange County line to Oceanside. In November, an extension of the Ventura County line also opened, with a one-stop extension to the present terminus at Montalvo. 
Later that month, an infill station was opened on the 91 in Inland Empire Orange County lines at Corona North, Maine. Three years after the last expansion, an infill station opened on the Antelope Valley line in April 2005, with trains servicing a new stop at Palmdale. In July 2006, a weekend-only station opened on the Inland Empire and Orange County lines, providing access to the San Clemente Pier. On the Orange County and 91 lines, Buena Park was opened in September 2007. The terminus of the Ventura County line was renamed in May 2011, with Montalvo now being known as East Ventura. In June 2016, the first system expansion in nine years opened, with the 91 line being extended through the Paris Valley. Four new stations were serviced along the extension, with trains now ending at Paris South. On the Riverside line, Pedley Station was renamed in October, now being referred to as Harupa Valley Pedley. Trains were extended into downtown San Bernardino in December 2017, with the San Bernardino and Inland Empire Orange County lines being extended one stop east. Finally, in May 2018, a new station was opened on the Antelope Valley line, with trains servicing a separate station at Burbank Airport North. This brings us to the Metrolink commuter rail map that we know today. In the years to come, more extensions are planned for the LA commuter rail network, which will see new lines and stations open across the system. In early 2022, a new station is expected to open on the Antelope Valley line, with trains servicing a new stop at Vista Canyon. Additionally, a new light commuter rail line will be launched in San Bernardino, running east from downtown San Bernardino to the University of Redlands. At the same time, the San Bernardino line will be extended along this alignment, with limited trips servicing downtown Redlands. That was the evolution of Los Angeles' commuter rail network, giving us the seven lines that we know today. If you haven't already, be sure to watch our video on the evolution of Los Angeles' metro network, which you can access by clicking the button in the top right corner. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and comment down below to join in the discussion. My name's Zach, and I'll be Vanishing Underground until the next one.